Mary Lou Bruner is the likely front runner for a seat on the Texas State Board of Education. I'm biased in favor of Christianity. I'm biased in favor of uh, America. She's pretty outspoken. In Texas, we believe that a family has a father and a mother, not two mommies or two daddies. She thinks President Barack Obama was a gay prostitute who sold his body for drugs. And that public pre-K education is a liberal conspiracy to make toddlers gay. And she wants to decide what goes in children's textbooks. The Texas State Board of Education has 15 members, and they decide what goes into the state's textbooks. Past board members have a reputation for being opinionated. How do you believe the world began? Uh, how long has it been here? And did we share the planet with dinosaurs? Yes. That's why Texas textbooks have a history of making headlines. The curriculum doesn't require teaching the Jim Crow laws. Some of the books also limit how much of the curriculum on evolution can be taught. Some textbooks suggest that Moses was essentially a founding father. Mary Lou Bruner agrees the textbooks are bad, and she has an explanation for why. I think That's right, it's the Middle East's fault. So she's on a quest to fix the textbooks, and she's bringing some of her other theories with her. Baby dinosaurs were on Noah's Ark, but died because there wasn't enough vegetation. Climate change is a hoax invented by Karl Marx. The Democrats killed JFK. Well, maybe. Islam isn't a religion, and Paul Ryan's beard makes him look like a terrorist. What? If you want to spread the word about Mary Lou, she's uploaded flyers to her website. And before you ask, yes. They include a quote from Joseph Stalin. Oh, and by the way, that's not even a real Stalin quote. But don't worry, I'm sure all the quotes in the textbooks will be correct. Texas purchases the second largest number of textbooks in the country, so a lot of the versions that are approved here trickle down into classrooms in other states. Well, sort of. While the board used to hold considerable sway over national standards, people are starting to realize that public education should be neither religious nor partisan. In 2011, Texas lawmakers even passed a law allowing public schools to use textbooks not approved by the board. So some kids in Texas might learn about Obama's gay prostitute past, but most kids won't be so lucky. This is your mic check.